Hi all, my name is Mas Barnkop from Kaiser Power Electronics. In this video we are building a new 4K rendering PC. My old PC is 6, 7, 8 years old, so it's time to build a new one in order to get some yeah, not long rendering times when doing 4K video as I have this new ZV camera filming all in 4K. Uh, for starters I would like to say that none of this is sponsored, it's all paid by myself. Um, so uh, yeah, let's dive into the hardware and see what you can get for a fair price in 2023. The core of the build will be a i5-12600, 32GB of RAM, DDR4, a passive cooler with cooling fan, I don't like that fancy water cooling, that's just going to leak, 1TB of solid state drive, M2, a uh, MSI Set Pro. 690 motherboard and a Cosar 750 watt power supply. So let's get building. My good old trustworthy Antec enclosure here. I got some um, yeah, noise cancelling enclosures for the uh, normal hard drives. It's a really good cabinet really. Um, but what I really like about this uh, enclosure here is the soundproofing of it. That uh, it comes with the padded panels. And as we can see here, the side panel, as you can hear, that's uh, a padded panel. And here on the inside, that's actually a bit funny, a AN8 SLE Premium sticker for a um, motherboard, which is the original PC I built this uh, into this enclosure, which was uh, a Athlon uh, 64 a a AMD CPU that was back in 2005, I think. So yeah, this cabinet has uh, followed me for a good... Uh, 17 years by now and it's still doing very well so uh, what did i pull out of this um, well i had a uh, cosar 550 um, watt power supply has have some had some startup issues that um, i generally just took the fuse in my house when uh, it had been powered down for a while so that's that's gone bad uh, i had my solid state uh, drive 256 gigabyte I actually, tr actually tried to clone this to the new drive and what I did was ruin my dual boot uh, Linux and Windows uh, boot sector and I just got a grub rescue prompt so that kind of sucked. The motherboard was a uh, MSE Set97 Gaming 5 with a i7 4970 or 4770K and 16 GB of DDR3 RAM. So uh, let's get the old stuff away. There's uh, one thing that will make it into the new build, and that's my old graphic card. A MSI um, GeForce GTX 970. So not exactly a new card, but it do just fine for video rendering. That is very CPU heavy. So yeah, let's uh, get the new stuff unpacked. Again, an MSI motherboard. This is the Pro Set 690. Nice looking stuff. Huge heat sinks on all the power supply parts. North and south bridge. Okay, power supply. So this is a bigger power supply than uh, before. So I actually just upgraded to something that could handle a larger graphics card. Should it be a problem. But also what you really should look for in a power supply is the system load efficiency that you don't want something idling around down here but you can see we are getting some uh, what's that some 92 percent at 20 percent load that's that's pretty okay would be nice to see uh, power supply manufacturers get up around the efficiency of uh, industrial power supplies that you can get up to some 97 percent now and all the uh, modular cables here. Some comes in sleeves and uh, some don't. Uh, looks very familiar to the original sleeving. This is from the uh, old power supply, so uh, could probably be uh, reused. Very, very identical to the 550. I'd actually argue that it would be hot to really tell a difference. So yeah, if something is good, 
why change it? Hopefully it just has better capacitors that won't dry out that fast as they did in the other one. A CPU cooler. Now I did go for air cooling as I don't like water cooling. And that's just uh, because I'm from the era of uh, where water cooling was a lot of do it yourself and there was a lot of, uh, yeah, what do you call that, leakage and accidents with that. So I, I never really liked it. And to be honest, fan noise, uh, I, I never had an issue with that. Well, looks nice. Directly connected heat pipes. Uh, seems to have a copper, copper surface, or at least copper heat pipes made flat. Up into a dual fan radiator. And I guess this is some kind of mounting kit. The uh, solid state drive, one terabyte. Not much to say about that, that's a one terabyte uh, M2 drive. Of course we have the CPU. i5, 12600K. And there we have that. Oh, nice little bugger. And the RAM, which is Kosar Vengeance, a uh, 32 gigabyte pair. Um, and of course, uh, buying the um, one terabyte solid state drive and the RAM, I checked out the uh, MSI's list of recommended or tested products before buying. So luckily, uh, hopefully I should not have any issues um, with non-matching parts here. So I'll switch to time lapse and we get this mounted. As a performance comparison, I did render the same 4K video on my old PC and now on the new one. On the old one, we can see it running here on the upper left corner. That is going to run for 1 minute and 32 seconds, while the lower left one is going to run for a mere 25 seconds. So that's about done. Now that is a 384% better performance than my old PC. Very nice. If we'll take a look at the uh, CPU set computation here, we can see that the comparison with my old CPU is only 300% better in multi-thread mode. So overall, I'm very satisfied. Thank you for watching. I'm here under my work desk with the new PC. Uh, didn't want to take it out just to make this final scene. But uh, what we see here is RGB lightning on the RAM stacks. You can call me old, but I don't think I get to understand putting all this uh, fancy light inside a yeah, closed cabinet. I do know you can get those with transparent plexiglass acrylic sides, but what is the point? Until next time, see ya.